Where's this next wall breaker going? It gets frozen. Oh, the wall breaker getting frozen. Oh. Does it bust open the wall? Oh, poor Hades, the timing. Not cash money. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next OP matchup in the CMG Cup. Today we got VN Esporting taking on Jensen Clash. And let's see who's going to be victorious today and move on to the next round of the playoffs. We got Demo coming in with the first attack of the match here. A little E-Titan smash action with some zaps, with some quakes. Looking cool. <clears throat> Warden walk on the right side. Setting a funnel. Warden might end up stepping up for the king. Could get a little awkward. Not the end of the world. Just gotta be patient. Here we go with the E-Titans into the right side. Cool. <clears throat> All going in toward the scatter shot. We still got a jump spell to get us to the core. What's our plan for the town hall? Are we expecting queen to sideswipe it? I think so. King with the witches in on the south side of the base. Wall breaker. What is that wall breaker doing, bro? It's not doing anything useful. What's the next one doing? Is the next one helping? I think so. Was it late? No, the E-Titans still make their way in. There's the jumping spell. Queen will be able to sideswipe the town hall. It's not awake yet. We got to fight the ice golems first. Rage tower going off on defense. Doing a lot of damage. The double damage Infernos, the double damage Expos are just shredding through our E-Titans. Are they all dead? I think so. So is the Warden. Queen struggling now. Oh gosh, we got no more spell support. Demo. Demo. Woo! Queen with her ability will be able to secure the Town Hall. Barely. Oh my. Champion on the bottom side with the King going toward the Eagle Artillery. Okay. Flameflinger's already dead on the top side. Uh-oh. Queen got the Town Hall. Now she can get the Expo and she'll get the Multi. There's not much damage on her anymore. Finally got through all that tough damage. We get through this Expo. Is there a way this still works? We sent that Headhunter way too early. Rip. Without any spells, I don't know if Champion wins this fight. She might. Queen distracting the Scatter is so calculated. What the? RC? Take out enemy RC? Yes. We got the Diggy. To help out. Bro, did this actually still pull through? Queen gets through the wall. RC finishes off the scatter shot before dying to the giant bomb. Ooh. But I think he's going to end up time failing because the queen's just being silly and beating on walls. If he had dropped the jump to overlap one of these other wall segments too, queen would have taken the jump. She would have walked out. This might have still worked. Rip demo. It's going to be really good percent though. King and Wizard take out the Wizard Tower on the top side. Queen finally... Did you guys see what she just did? <laughs> I think it's because the jump was expiring, but that just... Oh my gosh. She switched from one wall to another. Oh my gosh. And he falls short at 95%. Nice try. Jensen Clash. In with a little Queen Charge hybrid. Okay. Early battle blimp on this one. Queen on the other side of the wall, though, so the Yeti's going to take a little detour. Now she's back on this side. Uh-oh. At least the Yeti Mites do secure that scatter shot and the Archer Tower, so Queen should walk the right way. It's actually questionable. I think he wants her to stay on the outside of the base and then go in for the Town Hall. <clears throat> there is a slight chance she goes inside this early compartment to go fight the Queen. Could get a little interesting. We're using some balloons to funnel. Traps in front of the town hall. And here we go with the queen pathing. Which way does she go? She should stay on the outside. She pathed well. Okay. Good queen. The plan is going to plan so far. Nice. <laughs> that balloon searching for traps. We're not finding any more just yet. One more cocaloon for good measure. We got 19 miners and 9 hog riders for this hybrid ta attack on the back end. Cool. It's gotta be super patient, man. Let this queen get to the town hall, do her thing. We're already gonna get started, though. Here we go. Queen will take the wizard tower. Eagle artillery's awake, locking onto the miners. Where's the warden? Where's the warden? Oh, that warden's so late. 
Hog Riders, Royal Champion. He did freeze the Invis Tower. Down goes the Town Hall. Invis Tower goes off. First healing spells in. Headhunter and Miners take out the enemy Archer Queen. King still doing a great job making the funnel on the outside of the base. Poison Tower goes off on his hybrid troops. No big deal. We got the Warden ability. Negate all that damage. Do we have another Headhunter to help get through the King? Yes. Sends it right over the cannon though, but it gets there. It's gonna help take out the king. That's looking good. Next rage on the queen. We still got a freeze. Still got an invis. Still got the royal champion ability. There's a lot of barbarians over on the right side of the base from the king ability. Okay, queen gets through that Tesla. She's skipping the invis tower. It's gonna have enough time to recharge, which is also awkward. Champion on the right side still has her ability. He's holding on to those two spells. This might just work out with the freeze we're using on the expo and the enemy champion. Let our RC get through all that. Still have her ability. We got the queen ability intact. This is looking really good for Jensen Clash here on their first hit with the queen charge hybrid with the battle blimp. That felt just like an old school Town Hall 13 attack, man. Just blimp and then queen charge hybrid. Pretty simple plan and it works. Swag invisibility spell. It's a triple. And Jensen Clash start this match off with a lead. Exo Danny is in with some Queen Charge Lava Loon and Lunion. All right, Let's see what he's got. Queen on the top side. Cool. She's gonna go take out that multi. She's gonna go take out the Eagle Artillery. Baby Dragon to funnel the left. Cool. She passed perfectly to take out the multi before it takes any damage, or before it does any damage to the healers. Coco Balloon is in, searching for traps, finds a couple. We're gonna send another one. Down goes the Eagle. This Expo is doing a lot of damage to the Queen. Once the Race Tower goes off as well. <sighs> oh boy, this is gonna get real wonky. Race Tower is still not going off though. Queen has not triggered it. Look at this wall break, gonna give Queen access to both multis. I like it. It's juicy. There's the rage on the queen. Wall breakers are good. Hello, tornado trap. But the wall breaker pulled it, and the queen doesn't really even care. She's right next to it, not inside of it. Tornado trap completely negated. King along the right side of the base. He's gonna go pick up that air defense. Rage tower is almost expired. Now queen can just chill and fight the ice golems with the help of the poison spell. This is looking great for Danny. Champion on the right, backing up the king, sniping all these defenses. Then we're going to Lalo into the town hall. Here we go. Lots of Teslas on the bottom side of the base. Stone Slammers in as well. We've got to get through the king. Got to get through this poison tower. Then the town hall. So we're going to rage early. We're going to send headhunters. We're going to freeze. Oh, Warn ability. Yes, there's not that many balloons left though. Queen is taking out those multis. Ro Champion's still alive in the core. We got a freeze, we got a rage, we got an invis. We haste on the left. Headhunters do get through the enemy champion. We invis, we rage the champion in the core. She takes out the monolith, going left for the expo. We got a lot of yetis still alive. We got queen still moving. Phoenix picking up the stores in the core. It's looking good for VNE Sporting. Beautiful plan on this diamond base. Down goes Koob's base and VNE Sporting are right back in this match. Jensen Clash with their second attack. Some E Titans on this one, but look at the double clone spell setup. Does that mean we're going with an early Super Archer blimp? I think it does. With the Headhunter, with a lot of balloons, trying to snipe some defenses on the outside here. He pops that Warren ability, blimp sails all the way to the Town Hall compartment. First invisibility spell, second invisibility spell. Double clone, rage up. Next invisibility spell, looking great so far. Town Hall goes invisible, but we just gotta wait it out. Next invis just in time. Now we get the Town Hall. Now we get the Monolith. Now we get the invis tower, so it'll never have another chance to recharge. If he had one more invis, could he have gotten the multi? Uh, I don't know, the archers weren't raged up anymore, so maybe not, but here we go. Dropping everything onto the bottom side of the map. Gonna walk our way around. Need the queen to go in for that multi. And she might not. This is already gonna be a little awkward. We're gonna have to send the champion early to make sure that multi doesn't kill our healers. That is a little awkward. King popping his ability. We got two headhunters. Probably use one here on the king. Save the other one for the queen later. Champion can at least go to the core. Clear the poison tower and the other multi. That'll be good. The unicorn dies early. That's also unfortunate. 
What else do we got? Just one free spell left to support. The wall breaker gives us access to the scatter shot. That's good news. Because we still got a lot of E-Titans alive. All four of them still alive with two healers. This might still pull through. Road Champion gets out in front. We're going to go with the early freeze. Do you think it was worth it there for RC to fight Queen? Maybe. Maybe that was a good use of the freeze. RC actually takes the Queen out. That's beautiful. Friendly Archer Queen over here going to finish off the scatter shot. We still got the two healers. We still got a lot of E-Titans with the King moving along the outside of the base. We still got Queen ability. I think this might just pull through. Expo's doing a lot of damage. He's going to lose one E-Titan here, but still has three more. With the Queen ability, it's looking like another Clan Clash triple for Jensen Clash. Expo switches targets over to the Queen. She will have to pop here, but that's okay. Now the Expo locks onto the King or an E-Titan or something. Queen can sneak in, take out that Expo while it's not paying attention to her. Hello, Skelly Traps, but it doesn't matter. The E-Titans kill them so quickly. That is a three star all day long in Jensen Clash R2 for two, putting some crazy pressure onto VNE Sporting now. King goes down, but it doesn't matter. We got plenty of time to get that last storage. I pro is in more E Titans. This one has some zappy zap spells though. No super archer blimp on this one. Start with the warden walk over by the town hall. Probably gonna see a flame flinger. Closer to three, Zap Quake for the Invis Tower and the Monolith. Also going to wake up the Town Hall. It's too predictable, man. It's just too predictable. Pretty classic plan, though. A lot of people have been doing this sort of setup. There's the Flame Flinger. It should lock onto the Town Hall eventually. Once Warden takes the Bomb Tower, we're just going to full send into the Multi. I think that's his plan. Oh geez, there's a lot of traps here. That's actually good though, because the E-Titans will just take out all the Teslas and Skelly traps very quickly. We don't have to worry about that on the back end with the champion. So this is actually going to be really good for iPro. And he's just going to go ahead and get started. Flame Flinger will take out the Bomb Tower for us anyway. Here we go. Might have to freeze that Expo once. Warden's taking a lot of damage. He's not freezing in time. What are you doing? Oh no. He's going to go with the Warden ability instead. Okay. Rage, jump, king with witches on the bottom side. Flame flinger, going for the town hall. Can the healers get the warden back up to full health? They might. As long as, the, oh, he's so close to dying, that warden. That warden. Woo! It's close. There goes our last rage in the core. Warden's almost dead. Warden, warden, warden. Oh, the multi goes down just in time. Warden's okay. Wow. King on the left with a headhunter to help fight King. Royal Champion's in at 9 o'clock. Flame Flinger will secure that Town Hall for the second star. Can we get the third star? There's our last and final freeze on the back end. Scattershot on the Expo. Expo is raged up, doing double damage. Our E-Titans are all dead. We got Queen Ability. Pop it there. Take out the Scatter. Take out the enemy champion. Take out the Expo. We still got King Ability. We still got troops coming out of the Flame Flinger. It's looking decent for iPro. We're going to end over here in this last multi-targeting Inferno compartment and no Teslas to worry about. I don't even think there's going to be Skelly Traps to worry about. Maybe one, but I'm pretty sure he pulled almost all of them over here. King and RC both have their abilities. This is crushed. Nice plan from iPro. Pretty classic Zap e Titan setup and it worked perfectly. There goes the RC ability. Down goes the multi. Diggy has stunned the Expo and plenty of time left over another three star here for VNE Sporting and they are two for three. Nice hit here from iPro. Danny the King is in. More E-Titans, more clone spells, more Super Archer Blimp it looks like. A couple of early rocket balloons sniping that air defense. Another rocket balloon testing for traps. He's going to be able to do this Super Archer Blimp without even using the Warden. Well that's nice. Pops the blimp open. First invis. Second invis. Perfectly done so far. Double clone. Invis. Rage. Woo, just in time with that third invis. Town Hall goes invisible, but don't worry. He's got more invis spells of his own. Town Hall dies even while invisible. Jeez, those super archers are OP. They get the CC building. What else can they get? That's his last invis. He's all out of spells. Picks up the enemy queen. Picks up the scatter. Can he get the monolith? Is it damaged? No, but at least he pulls the poison effect. 
Dude, he got so much value and he didn't even use the warden. That's nice. But we don't have any spells whatsoever for the rest of the attack. So it still isn't a guaranteed triple. We got to be able to get through this monolith without any spells. It could be tough. We do have a warden ability, though. That's going to help a ton. Next wall breaker looks like it's targeting a really good spot. Gets all the way there. Beautiful. Do we send one more wall breaker to try and give them access to the monolith? Or are we just going to send champion for it? I'm not sure. He's got minions on the south side of the base. That Oh, dude, that wall breaker. How did it not go for that core? Oh, he's got another one. Let's go. He sent it so late, though. I'm not sure if Queen actually goes. Oh, she will. Oh, this timing's actually perfect. Queen will take the monolith for him. He's got the Warren ability. Send the champion from the top side now to help support. This is looking great for Danny the King. Jensen Clash are two for two, and they got another solid plan here. He's going to send champion by herself from the bottom. We got the Headhunter to help her get through the King, so that could work out. The Headhunter died early. What the heck killed the Headhunter? Was it a giant? What? what? That giant bomb reached? What the? We pop RC ability. RC's already almost dead. That ended up being a little wonky. I still think he should have sent her from the top side. Queen B through the wall. Takes out the scatter shot. And this is still going to pull through. It didn't matter which side he sent the champion from. The rest of the attack was too good. Lots of wizards doing cleanup on the right side. RC still going to live. Barely. Diggy stuns the archer tower. Another triple. And Jensen Clasher three for three. These guys are on fire. Nice plans so far from them. Absolutely deleting these bases. Hades is in with some queen charge. Lalo. Here we go. Pressure on. Because Jensen Clash are just non-stop three starring. And they might just get even more three stars. So Hades needs to get a triple here. To give his team the confidence that they need to stay in this match. Queen over on the right side of the base. With the wall break into the two o'clock section. Queen will have access to the air defense access to the expo access to the scatter shot and the royal champion this is going to be some juicy value here if she can go in get it all and not lose any healers the pathing could be questionable she might skip the air defense at first mm, no she's gonna be okay the pathing is gonna be perfect rage allows the queen to take out the rc she steps up look at this she snipes the air defense he might lose one healer no didn't even lose one that is just phenomenal value. Does she get the scatter before switching targets to the CC troops? Yes, bro. Hades' queen is a boss. Doesn't even need a spell now for her to fight the ice golems. This is just going picture perfect so far. King on the top side with the phoenix. And look at that sneaky little wizard helping out too. Clutch. King pops ability. Should be able to take out the enemy king. Where's this next wall breaker going? It gets frozen. Oh, the wall breaker getting frozen. Doesn't bust open the wall. Oh, poor Hades. The timing. Not cash money. If he had gotten that wall break, Queen would have been able to take out the monolith. Now she won't be able to reach it. She will still be able to reach the eagle. But here we go. We're going to have to lolo through that top side. Balloons making their way toward the town hall. Hello, tornado trap. We freeze the town hall once more. Got to get ready to rage the balloons. Pop the warden ability through all that. Eagle doing a lot of damage. He's being so patient with the warden ability. There's the red bombs. Warden ability popped. Stone slammer on the left. Queen did take out the eagle. Now she's busting through the wall that the wall breaker was supposed to get. We invis the RC. We send the headhunters. We rage the RC. The headhunters together. Down goes the enemy queen. Down goes the scatter shot. Royal champion still has her ability. Is the Diggy still alive? No, Diggy's dead. We pop our sea shield. We still got more troops coming out of the stone slammer. More balloons. A dragon rider. Queen's still alive. Beaten on her like 17th wall. RC's gonna go down. But if the queen could get through these walls quick enough, it actually doesn't matter. The dragon rider can finish off the rest of the defense. His minions on the bottom side. Doing clean up. 44 seconds is more than enough time for a Hades. What a plan. Oh, wait. Did I just jinx him? What the heck happened up here? Is Queen going back? Oh, Queen's so smart. He's got it. Phoenix, take the Builder Hut. Oh, gosh, there's traps. Phoenix gets the Builder Hut, though. He's got it. He's got it. Perfect Queen charge. Lalo plan from Hades. Gets it done. Dude, both these teams are popping off today. Costa is in with a lot of dragons and a lot of dragon riders. Okay. Queen on the south side of the base. Is this going to be a blizz? We're just going to spam the dragons in on the left. We're going to blizz the town hall, I think. Could be super minions. Well, 
He doesn't have a clone spell, so I doubt it. It's probably just a Blizz. There is an Invis Tower there, though, so it could get a little wonky. There's the first Invis. There's the Rage. There's the next Invis. It is Super Wizards. Next Invis is in. They'll get the Town Hall. Cool. Now can they get the multi? Yes, they should. The Lava Hound got pulled. We got to fight that. But the Dragons and the Rage spell get through it pretty quickly. We got the Poison spell to help with some of these pups. King already died. Phoenix brought him back to life. We send the Headhunter. We send the Ice Golem. We send the Royal Champion from the right side. Is it going to be enough? On the back end, we got a Monolith, a Warden Tower, a King, a Poison Tower. That's going to be rough on the back end here, especially if we don't save any spells. We do have the Queen... We got the Warden still alive, but the multi staying up is going to cause problems because Warden's not going to snipe it. Does the champion go take out the multi? I think she will, and we she has to take it out or else this is a fail for sure. The Queen won't be able to reach it. Diggy will stun. RC has her ability. We got two freezes. If the Warden stays alive, that's going to make a big difference here. Diggy stuns the Expo as well. Ice Golem pops, freezes. We still got two of our own free spells. Down goes the Expo. RC can pop her ability. It's going to grab several extra defenses. Ooh, we pop RC ability. Oh, that poison tower is going to kill our champion and our Grand Warden. Queen has ability. We got two freezes. I don't know if it's enough. The monolith and the Warden tower. We do have a headhunter. That makes one hell of a difference. So we can still save the Queen ability for the monolith. If the poison tower recharges, though, we're in big trouble. Might be worth a freeze on the Monolith and the Poison Tower because it stops the Poison Tower from recharging. Yes, good call. And I think once she gets to the Monolith, just go ahead and pop her ability. Oh, well, we're going to freeze again first. He's going to have to pop it soon anyways. Yep, he's just going to go ahead and do it. This is going to be a close finish, man. If there's no traps, I think he gets through it. But there's Giant Bombs. All the archers go bye-bye. 25 seconds left. Ooh, the Warden Tower doing so much damage. If there's a Giant Bomb, I think it's a fail. Oh, she's so low. Oh, Unicorn, keep her alive. Rip. Oh, dude, if that Giant Bomb wasn't there, I think it triples. It's a 96% though. Demo got 95. So Jensen Clash are up by one building. Elec is in with queen charge lalo against jensen clash now jensen are up by one building and here we go with the last round of attacks elec needs to triple and then they have to get a defense any defense and oof already a rough start tries to rage early to keep that queen ability intact but queen still goes to ability what in the early lalo is happening on this queen charge lalo hello Warden ability, Battle Blam, bro, this feels like that uh, style of Queen Charge Lalo that, uh, what was it, Clash Champs were, not Clash Champs, but Space Station were doing at the World Championship last year. Town Hall goes down. Queen gets through these super miners. Wall break to give her access to the multi. We rage. Okay. Now we do the baby Lalo from the south side of the base. King's still alive on the top side of the base. This is interesting. Freeze on the enemy champion. Queen gets through her. Balloons on the bottom side are looking healthy. Nobody going to be able to get this monolith, though, unless the balloons can somehow get there. We're going to send champion to it. Hopefully there's no skelly traps. King's still looking really good. We're going to freeze that monolith. Diggy's going to get in there and stun it next. Queen's going to start beating on a wall. We go ahead and rage her up, even though she's at full health. Do you think that was worth it to rage the queen through the wall? Or do you think he should have used that rage on the royal champion? I think he should have used it on the champion. King pops ability. He took out the inferno. Champion went through the tornado trap. She's pushing through. We got her ability. We go with the freeze spell. Ooh, there's the champion ability. He's got it, right? No more abilities. He's got the invis. What a plan. Invis the queen. She'll take the expo. Champion Diggy still stunning. Oh, there's skelly traps. Queen, hurry up. Get the scatter. It's low. He's got it. That's a three star for Alec with the interesting Queen Charge Lalo, where you just send the Lalo right away with the Warden ability. As soon as you start the Queen Charge, it's a triple. But remember, Jensen Clash had one building lead, but they have to triple now. It's three star or lose. 
in the playoffs. Koob is in final attack of the match. All the pressure on his shoulders right now. It is triple or lose situation. 99% is not good enough. They need a three star. He's going with an early warden blimp. Ed, his headhunter got wrecked right away. Uh oh. Tornado trap, gonna spin him, but it just spins him straight into the wall. Double clone, rage, next invis. This bomb tower scares me, but I think super archer survive it, so it's okay. Most of them are very low on health though. As long as they don't take any more damage, they're gonna get through all this stuff here. Town hall drops. Enemy champion drops. Inferno tower drops. Monolith drops. Spell tower drops. Do they get the scatter? No. Is that going to be a problem? I don't know. Do you think he was expecting the scatter shot? I'm not sure. I think he was. Because look, he was dropping everything on the right side like he just expects them to walk down into the eagle. I think he was expecting the scatter, but it might not be that big of a deal. Here we go. E Titan army pushing through the south side of the base. Everybody going to skip that scatter, but we're going to send champion just to go get it. And then she'll meet back up with the E Titans. We've only got one freeze in this army. We got to make sure we use it perfectly. Popping king ability already. E Titans are beating on a silly wall. Poison tower goes off. RC going to push through, get out in front. Ice golem freezing the single again. Still got another Ice Golem again for one more freeze effect there. Still holding on to that freeze spell. We need the champion to go path to that multi because I don't think anybody else is going to get it. And I don't think the RC is going to path there either. Uh-oh. He could be in trouble with this multi killing everything. RC has to go to ability. She's going to die early as she gets out in front now. We got the king. We got the queen. We got healers. We got E Titans. But it's looking very questionable as the champion goes down. The unicorn gets locked onto by the multi. No wall breakers to help Queen get to that multi. She's going to spend 10 and a half years trying to beat through these walls. It's going to be a close finish. E Titans King making their way in. We're going to use the freeze there to help the headhunter get through the enemy Queen. Was that worth it? Probably. Queen pops her ability. I think he should have just popped the ability earlier to get through the first wall because the unicorn might have stayed alive if he did that. Now the unicorn's dead. Queen just beating on another wall, and then she's going to go beat on a third wall. This might end up time failing. It's going to be so close. He's got a headhunter on the top side getting an extra building. Why are the E-Titans beating on a wall when they can just walk around? Oh, King goes down. It's going to be up to the Phoenix. Queen's beating on her third wall. 20 seconds on the clock. King dies. Phoenix, headhunter, trying to get through it all. Koob. Oh, no. This is going to be heartbreaking for Jensen Clash. They had the lead the entire match, and it falls short. VN Esporting win after the last attack. How the turns have tabled. Another 96%, and VN Esporting are moving on to the next round what a match 14 stars to 13 99 to 98.4